A break in, a bloody attack with a hammer, and a scary promise he would, quote, take out APD officers if he were ever caught. News 13 So Young Kim filed this report before heading to tonight's breaking news. When APD responded to a call to this apartment complex on Academy Road in the Northeast last Saturday, it says it found blood everywhere. According to the criminal complaint, officers found a male victim laying in bed, blood all over his head and face, and quote, blood on his sheets and blankets, as well as blood on the wall. The accused attacker, 34-year-old Robert Torres, was in court today. The judge says the allegations are alarming. And I do find probable cause. The victim told investigators he was sleeping when his younger sister's ex-boyfriend Torres broke into his apartment and struck him in the head multiple times with a hammer. Mr. Torres does have a history of violence. A few days later, police received a recording of Torres who admitted to, quote, beating John with a hammer. And that's not all. According to him talking about taking out uh, Albuquerque Police Department. Investigators say the recording also showed Torres was, quote, planning on having a shootout with APD if they attempted to take him to jail. The victim told investigators he thinks Torres attacked him because Torres thinks the victim would introduce his younger sister to other men. The victim's older sister, who also lives in this apartment, told police she heard screaming, then saw Torres walking out of the apartment with a hammer in hand. You're to avoid all contact with the alleged victim and also any of the witnesses. So Young Kim, KRQE News 13. The victim is being treated at UNMH. Torres is charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon and drug possession. At last check, Torres remains behind bars at MDC. The judge kept his bond high at $50,000 cash or surety.